If you want to grow crops in Maryland, the old school approach is to throw your seed in a big old field and let nature take over. But if you want to be up to date, you go high tech and you set up a system like this. It's called aquaponics. And all of these fresh greens are actually working in partnership with tanks full of fish, believe it or not. We're here at Bellavita Farm in Montgomery County where they have really perfected this system. We are growing a variety of lettuces, microgreens, kale, and sometimes we'll grow, in the winter months, we'll grow cherry tomatoes, and we also grow herbs. Under this 4,000 square foot greenhouse, Amy Falcone is optimizing as much of the growing space as she can, raising both fish and produce in a controlled environment. We have aquaponics, which is where fish are used as our nutrient producers to fertilize this kind of a system. And then we have a hydroponic system, which is independent of the fish. While hydroponics relies on organic liquid nutrients, these fresh greens are thriving with the help of fish waste. We have four 500 gallon fish tanks and we have about 100 to 150 fish in each tank. Those fish swim, produce nutrients, it's filtered off and then it's actually sent back into the system here. You can see the water. This, this water never touches the top of the plants. In this recirculating system, the fish waste, which is high in ammonia, is converted by bacteria into a natural fertilizer. The plants absorb it and clean the water before it returns to the fish. Our system is about 8,000 gallons total. 6,000 will go between these beds. Every six hours, the water goes through and around. So everything that we use here has to be fish safe. The health of these ecosystems is top priority at Bella Vita, which means keeping up with regular maintenance. Shake that up and in a few minutes we'll have the results. Farm manager Jeff Dowling tests the quality of the water weekly to ensure these greens keep producing. We need to monitor the nitrate levels so we know that the plants have enough food to you know, grow at the rate we need them to grow and to fully develop. When we come in, I look for the leaves. I make sure that they're healthy looking, that they don't have any insects, they don't have any powdery mildew. And then the next thing I look is to make sure that there's aeration in the water and I pull the boards up and we look at the root system. They grow year round, which means it's always planting season here at the farm. It's a meticulous process that requires a lot of patience and a good pair of eyes. It starts with these tiny seeds, which are planted into coconut fiber, also called coir. So how does this work? It looks pretty simple. So this is, this is a flat of 128. So every mm -hmm. week we plant about 800 to 1,000 seeds. And that's one seed at a time. Would you like to try? Yeah, I sure would. Give me a few. Here, we'll get started with that. I like to do them in threes, that way I don't See, lose I track. See, up already. No, there it goes. Okay, good. With a little coordination and a lot of concentration, I managed to plant the tiny seeds. Next, this tray makes its way to the nursery deck where it will spend a week or two under the lights. Twice a day, the plant decks are flooded with water, and in about seven days, these seeds will sprout. Then we move them to the top deck where they get natural light, and then at week four, they go into the water for the first time where they're on a lattice board. Depending on the variety and the time of year, lettuce seeds can take anywhere between 21 to 65 days before they're ready to harvest. I'm looking forward to coming back in a few weeks to taste some of the fresh lettuce we planted. But today, we have something else on the menu. We tent the foil so it really keeps all the flavors of the ingredients inside. This is my sister Angie. She has created a wonderful dish here for us today. She's grilled up some fresh tilapia, which the farm sells alongside their herbs and greens. What I did for seasoning was mix some fresh garlic, some roasted red pepper flakes, salt and pepper, butter, and a little bit of olive oil. Grilled tilapia done in foil with the microgreens and the lettuce. Everything was grown about 100 yards from here. You might call it hyper-local eating. And tilapia is a wonderful fish and has a reputation for being very moist. Mmm, which it really is. I think the sisters did a great job seasoning this. We're going to get their recipe and put it on our website at mpt.org slash farm so you can try it at home. For the local buy, I'm Al Spoiler. Joanne? Thanks, Al.
To get the recipe featured in this video, click the link in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss future stories. Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest.